My name is Chris Davis. I'm an attorney in Seattle, Washington. I've been practicing for more than 30 years. So we were first notified about this case almost seven years ago, and we were contacted by the wife of a man named Carl Schwartz. He had been rendered a quadriplegic while riding his bike. He was cycling on a um, shared use path called the Green River Trail and ran into a metal post in the middle of the trail. Once he hit the bollard, he flew over his handlebars, landed on his head and broke his neck in three places, starting at C2. The weather report showed that there was some fog in the area. And according to Mr. Schwartz, he claimed that he never saw the bollard before impact. And as we dug deeper into the case, it turns out that the county did not comply with nationally established safety guidelines and standards concerning marking the bollards. So we presented this case to several focus groups. And the one thing that they could not get over was the fact that if you go down to the location where my client was injured on any most day where it's sunny out, you'd be able to see this bollard in the middle of the path. So I engaged the services of DK Global to put together an animation of the scene and to show in different circumstances how that bollard could have not been detectable in time for Mr. Schwartz to see it and avoid hitting it. Uh, and we were able to do that in, in various different conditions as well as various markings of that bollard to show that had it been properly marked, had the county complied with the safety guidelines, it would have been easily seen even in the poor weather and lighting conditions that my client experienced on the date of the injury. The county let us know in no uncertain terms that they were not paying any money to settle the case and that they were going to fight the case all the way to the Supreme Court if they needed to. So we never received an offer from the county for more than six years. It took me six years in working up the case getting DK Global on board, creating the animations before the county finally agreed to pay good money to settle the case. We settled the case after a full day of mediation for $10 million. Most people learn and recall by what they see. You know, a picture is a thousand words. Well, my line of work, a picture is usually a million words because it can leave indelible impressions in the juror's mind about what happened to my client. 